That was kind of unnecessary. <laughs> I'll have to admit, that was a little bit unnecessary. Anyway. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to more Skyward Sword. When we last le left off, we got the absurdly strong Hylian Shield. The strongest shield in the game. It is actually invincible, so we can never break it. So, this is going to be the shield we're going to be wearing for the rest of the game. Woohoo! Yeah! And also, I, I took a shot at breaking the world record of the time trial for the Gurham battle. The first Gurham battle. I came close, but no cigar. I'm still very proud of my time. But today, we're going to be going to Skyloft to see whatever the final trial is. So, I'll meet you there. Alright, now that we are in Skyloft, I took the liberty of switching out some of our gear to, um, I, I switched out our empty bottle to a fairy, which I had in the item check, for whatever reason. And I swapped out the potion metal to a bug metal. Now, I know that we still have the guardian potion, but I don't think we're going to be needing it for nine minutes straight. So, I think this is still fine. And also, the reason why I did the bug metal over something like the treasure metal or the uh, the heart metal is because, okay, we have one thing that makes us invincible, but we have another thing that revives us. So, I think we're fine in health category. And as for treasures, we don't need to upgrade anything anymore. The only thing that we would want to upgrade are potions. So, I think this is a wise choice. So, and besides, I've never carried the bug metal around just regularly I always did it to specifically search for bugs so I just want to see how convenient it makes things so yeah okay let's go ahead and douse for the trial and it actually is very conveniently lo located it's right in the plaza right here and you can see some blessed butterflies or blessed butterflies as I called them earlier in the LP and we see some sacred uh, mushroom spores, so we know what to do around sacred mushroom spores, and that is play music, because apparently things get trippy. Yep, here are the trippy things. And you're probably wondering how much this looks like we're a Silent Realm, and you know what? It is. This is the fourth Silent Realm challenge in the game. So let's enter. Good song. Ha had some music reminiscent of some of the earlier Zelda titles in there too, which I really like. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to the final Silent Realm. Well, you, you did say the last, um, the third Silent Realm is the last one, so not sure if I should believe you, Fee, but let's take her for her word and thrust our sword in the center of the emblem. Fire your emblem. I wonder how, what this looks like to uh, outsiders. Are we just con kind of having convulsions as we're in the Silent Realm, or does time stop? Not sure. Okay. Here it is. Master Link. You have entered the last of the trials. The goddess's silent realm. That must feel weird, man, because Link has the same reaction every time. That must be like... Feel like something's being pulled out and like tickle or something? I don't know. You got the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit, Link. Is that Fee talking to him? I'm not sure. When you have filled the spirit vessel once more, you shall be finally recognized as the true hero of legend. Only then will you 
you be shown the door that will lead you to the Triforce. Master, I wish you su success in this trial. Do you have any questions before you face the task ahead of you? Mm, no. I'm good. Understood, Master. Master, I await your return in the outside world. Man, this took me by surprise the first time I played the game. And for good reason. This, you know, story-wise, picture Link. He's grown up in this area, you know, all his, all of his life. He trained here, he had fun times here, and he had hard times here. And now it's turned into this nightmare. Just put yourself in Link's shoes for a moment. It's a nightmare for him. It's kind of scary. So, yeah. This has more value than the others, I think. Alright. I'm... There is, I know for a fact, there's a tier up there. I don't think I can get it if I run outside of this this circle. I think my best bet is that one. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump out of it to get some extra room. And run. And somersault into it. You got a sacred tier. These aren't t tiers of Din, Nehru, Nehru or Furor. This is a sacred tier. Huh. Are, is this the essence of all three? Not sure. Okay. Let's go at this in a... What is this? Clockwise? Yeah, clockwise fashion. We cannot go on to the Isle of the Goddess. So... That's weird. So that's not even a thing. Uh, but we will take advantage of this treasure. While we don't need treasures anymore... Um... I do feel it's still good to get them because you can actually sell them at one part, uh, one house at nighttime. I have not shown that yet. I will be showing it next episode, but uh, you can sell your part, your oh, your treasures. I'm used to Pikmin. I almost said ship parts. Okay, there's the second one. Can we jump down here without falling to our deaths? Yes, we can. I think there's one down here. Is there? No, there's not. Okay. I'm used to gratitude gr crystals, I guess, because I I could have I could have sworn that there was a. No, there isn't. There's no tear over there. Oh my word! It's a chaser. Okay. Let's run away from the chaser, so he doesn't chase us. Okay. Let's go up here. No, let's go this way. I know there's one this way. And, oh, oh, he's just a looker. He's a looker. Okay. Don't touch me, bro. Thank you. We'll just follow you. Yep, the, uh, it's kind of mean, but, yes, the tier is on this support beam. There we go. Wait for him to pass. And that, let's actually go down this way and circle up and around. We're going to leave that tier there alone. There's a chaser. There we go. Leave me alone. Thank you. Can we get up here? No, we cannot. Let's go up this way. Because there is a tier right here. I think that's good to get. Okay. Now, now that we can go this way, I'm actually want you want to roll into this post. Because I believe this always has a dusk relic on it. So, yeah, you can get that nice and easy. Now, there's one easy one here, but I'm going to ignore it, because we have to play a game of push the barrel, or the crate. Okay, so let's push. I wish we could push it faster, but... Okay. Now we can pull it from the side. And we can jump up. Up the Ugin. Grab it. And let's go around this way. Whoa. This way. Jump up on this ledge. Man, we did this in the first ep first episode? Yeah, I think first episode. How far we've come. Run over here. Climb up the ivy. That's a chaser. And I don't want the chaser to chase me. Can I just walk here? Okay. He's leaving me alone. And drop down here. Run by this guy. And now we can get... Uh, actually... Okay, there's nothing down here. That's good, okay. Anything over here? 
Anything? Nothing? Really? This area is just empty. Okay. I would have thought they would at least uh, leave a dusk relic over here, but apparently they didn't. It kind of... I question that. Can we go in the door? Please say yes. Oh, cool. You can actually try to go... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to see what the other door does. Because if we could go in that door by some weird glitch, that would be really cool. Maybe you can. Okay. Can we go? Man, that stinks. That would have been so neat if we could go in that door. Game designers disappoint. Okay. We're almost halfway done with the trial. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, let's plan this out. There's a chaser right there. And a guy chaser over there. But for what I intend, I don't care if they're chasers. There's a... <laughs> shortcut you can do. In fact, I'm going to try it. Okay, we're going to leave those tiers for later, for, for the very last. And we're going to go up on the tower right now. Here's what I intend. Uh, well, okay. I won't tell you yet, because... Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, why not? Okay, here's what I intend. Um, the waking water, you can actually run on top of it if it's you know, normally that you'd swim in it, you actually run on top of it. So, if I get those tears over there across the way, I can grab them, then run... Oh, my word. Is that waking water? One way to find out. No, it's not. Okay. Then I can run across the surface of the waking water and run all the way over here to safety. That's what I intend. Can I jump? There we go. Okay. No damage, because there's no fall damage. Okay. Let's run over here and cross the bridge. And this is actually pretty hard, because you have to see which way he turns around. Now, I'm not sure if he shines on the walls. If he does, we'll run to that tier over there. No, we're good? Okay. Jump. Let's go. Now, there are no tiers over there. That'd be really jerkish, so ignore those. So, if we go this way, we can go up and around. Or, not up, up and around. We can just jump on this one. Now, on the way back, there's waking water that will rise and recede. Just run when it's not there, and you'll be fine. Now, there is a looker. Oh, it's a moving looker. Or, chaser. It's a chaser. But this one is a chaser looker, so he's a stalker? Yeah, stalker. That's but that's a good term. Okay. So we'll just ignore the stalker. I really want to try this. No. Okay. Uh I will not get that because that's dangerous. Instead we'll just run away from the stalker and where are the other ones? There's one up there, which I'll get now. Uh no, there's one right here. You see all these four lookers? Well, they're all guarding one tier. Basically, what you need to do is just time your your dash accordingly. So next time they get around here, I will make a mad dash. Actually, let's go over this way. Then we can't don't have to stop by the gate thing. Okay. They're open. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Um, let's implement our plan right now. Into the waking water. Okay. The only one that can get us are floaters or whatever they're called. They can't reach us. Yes. Whew. That worked well. Made our escape rather smoothly. So yeah, walking on waking water is actually really neat and it's a very legit way to do speed runs. I've seen a lot of people do that. Okay, so there is a tier up here. Yeah, I see it. Okay. It just right on this bench. But we can't get it by sitting on the bench. Okay, so we can just walk into it. Now let's get the last tier, then do what I want to do, and run across the water to victory. And not get chased by a chaser. Over here. I forgot what I called those guys. I'm just gonna call them floaters. 
I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, Reapers! Reapers is what we called... Whoa. Reapers is what we called them. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this. We have collected every last sacred tier. Link's spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance so that you can claim proof of your personal growth. And there it is! Happy day! Now, let's do what I want to do. That is, run on the waking water and cheat death. And get Dusk Relic. Okay. You ready? You set? I'm gonna run straight that way. Okay. Celebratory sniff. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Okay. Everybody's gonna wake up. And we're just going to jog on this part because I want to save my stamina. I see a mace guy. Someone's close. He's running. There are guys running behind us. Okay. They're coming in from all sides. And. And. No. Oh my word, that was close. So close. And we made it. There were like five guys on us, man. That was intense. I'm glad we did it that way. You got the Stone of Trials. This engraved object was created to lead the chosen hero to the hidden location of the Triforce. Don't know what it does, but we'll find out next time. Well, I don't think anyone noticed, because they're all still walking around. Congratulations, Master. You have passed all of the trials. The Stone of Trials you just obtained is actually one of a pair, Master. You have to do yet another trial in... No. Another similar object with a mark just like the one you hold s exists somewhere on this island. Combining the two should open the way to the Triforce. I suggest that you search for that matching stone. Thanks, V. And... We're not... Well, we're going to be doing that. Next episode! Thank you so much for watching. And next time on Skyward Sword, we will not be... Uh, we'll, we won't progress the story very much. That'll, that'll be done near the end of the episode. However, I'm going to be showing some of the things that we haven't sh that I haven't shown in the LP that exist on this island. Things like where to sell treasures, things like where to sell bugs, easy ways to make money, and um, yeah, any and also any households that we haven't visited thus far. Also, we'll be tackling the last uh, the last side quest of the game, and possibly tra uh, transforming Batro into a human. So, I release episodes of Skyward Sword Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. With Saturdays, I try to make long episodes. And I release Pikmin uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you enjoy this, click like. And I will see you next time for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword.